Yo, welcome back to the channel. I am JD, and I hope you guys are doing wonderful out there. Today, I have another sneaker review for you, and we're going back to the Puma side to one of my favorite basketball shoes of all time, the LaMelo Ball Queen City. Now you heard me many times talk about how I love to play basketball in the Mellow Balls.01. This is probably still one of my all time favorite shoes and honestly it's like the Pokemon. I gotta collect them all. So I went ahead and picked up another colorway which is the Queen City colorway. Now this is just throwing homage to the city of Charlotte with the beautiful vibrant blues and purples. This to me is a wonderful color. The color of royalty, how can you get any better? Much like all the others, I will take you through them. Uh, there are some subtle differences, so let's go ahead and dive in. On the bottom, you can definitely see the rare. It illuminates pretty nicely. No, it doesn't light up, but under light, it definitely looks awesome. It's definitely one of the best outsoles I have played in. The rubber compound sticks on hard surfaces. I have not played outdoors with these yet, so I cannot tell you how they perform outdoors, but indoors, they play great. Now, they do pick up a lot of dirt and dust, and you'll have to wipe those away after each use, but it keeps them nice and clean. So, it has the 101 on the bottom again, as you can see there, and it has a golden child button up there. So, bringing us out to the midsole, you see the Structure X there, the Triple X. You see the toe cap in the vinyl with the mesh, kind of very structured mesh on the toe box. Bringing this up to the tongue itself, you have a very soft mesh with the vinyl attached to the tongue. And if you bring this up to the top here, you'll see the one of one on the tongue tag. Has a halo underneath. I mean, it's just a really clean shoe. The purple color is so vibrant to me. Just like the others, I really enjoy the bright colors. And if you have not seen those videos yet, go ahead and click up here. I did a deep dive review on each of the Rick and Morty and the Red Blast. So hopefully you guys go take a look at those. Now, let's bring us out to the other side of this. You'll see the one-on-one hit right there. And the embroiders back on the side. But the one thing I wish they would have done which put the embroider on the other side as well. I went back to the vinyl. I'm not a fan of that overall, but it, it's fine. It looks fine. I just would rather have the embroidery. I think it just adds an extra touch to it. And if you take a look at the insole, you can see the one-on-one -on -one icon there with the halo on the insole. It's just uh, those added touches. And of course the box, do I need to say any more about the box? It is the same style box as the Red Blast, but not the Rick and Morty. See the knot from here on the bottom of the tongue. And overall, just like the others, this is extreme heat. I'm gonna give this a 4.5 out of five for not only looks, but also performance. This is one of the top sneakers out there when it comes to playing basketball. Let me know what you guys think, and have you played in these, or any of those colorways? So until next time, take care.